Hi, this is Matt with Computech, and today we're going to be talking about the latest update to the RaceBase software, version 2.3.0. So if you go to Settings, you can check your version number here, and if you do not have the latest, go ahead and click on the Check for Updates button, and it will open up our website where you can click on the Download button and install the latest version. So with the latest version, one of the things that we have done is that we recognize that as you got more events in here, this list was getting a little bit too big. So we have now implemented a logbook section, which now has your events organized by year. And you can collapse and expand these and see your different races. Um, and you can click on a race and it will then pump that information right up there. Um, as you'll notice, we've also got averages. Um, so you can now take a look at what your average reaction time, 60 foot, ET slip information, as well as your best reaction time um, and your overall weather for that day. So this is nice when you're trying to see where your driver's at. So as you can see here, my son was 030s, 021, 034, 032. So in general, he's right around that 030s, 020s mark. Um, one of the other things that we have done that we're pretty proud of is the new Makuni tune-up program for the junior dragster area. So when you now calculate, you're going to get a lot more information than just here's what jet to put in here. So you can see that it's telling us that based on this baseline information we just put in here, this is a slightly rich combination. Um, and it's also telling us that our ideal jet at 97.7% ADR is going to be a 210.1. And what we do here is we actually show you three jet sizes and what their air density ratio range is. So that 210 jet is good for the 97% range. And if it got down below 95%, I might be looking at probably getting a 205 jet in there. So really it depends on how much the weather is going to change throughout the day, but we're trying to give you a guide to help you choose which jet to, to put in the car so that it'll work for the entire day. Um, and if you were to change your baseline, it's going to show you, okay, now we're going slightly, slightly lean. And if my baseline was 97, now I'm even more slightly lean. Um, and I can always import my old baseline back in there and get back to that slightly rich combination. Um, one of the other things that we have done is the notes button. Before you had notes and if you clicked on it you would see your notes but it wasn't a lot of area for notes. So now if you click the notes button again it will maximize the notes upon that screen so you've got a huge uh, screen of paper for yourself. Um, one of the other things we have done is we have cleaned up the throttle stop settings. So there, now there is a stop timer and a start timer for the throttle stop guys. And I will be having a throttle stop video in the very near future that will show you how to figure out how what your timer adjustment is and get the, data log, uh, get the weather station set up so that it is running correctly. Um, one of the other things we've done is fix a couple bugs. So we have fixed an issue where the when you're using multiple cars, sometimes it did not put the right car name on the predict. Uh, we have also got it so that your default prediction formula that you save in the cars area will save and remember each time you click on the button and then hit predict, it's automatically going to know that formula that you want. Um, we also, when you were running Junior Dragster index formula, um, if the value went negative in this pounds in the variable weight tank, it would not send a text or page message. Uh, that bug has been fixed. And we now also have got it working correctly so that the find run feature is, is working. So if I wanted to look at all the runs that are similar to my 60 foot here, I can click find runs and now it's got all the runs within 5% of the last 60 foot I have and you can see here 9.918918917 and now I can see okay here's how the run was for those other passes uh, so the find feature is now working and is also putting things here in this search feature for you uh, that's pretty much it for this update if you've got any other questions or problems feel free to give us a call thanks